Today, my guest is Kevin Ahajanian, a candidate for District 5 Supervisor, a seat currently held by Rob Brown. Kevin, thank you very much for being my guest today in the KPFZ studio. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And let's start with some basic information about you. Uh, how old are you? I am 48 years old. You're how old? 48. 48. How long have you lived in Lake County? Um, since two months prior to the Valley Fire. That uh, would be, so that would be, let's do a little math here. Uh, we're t heading off into, let's say, well, come next summer, it'll be five years. You moved here right before the Valley Fire? I moved to Cobb two months prior and lost Did my you, house up on Yeah, Spring I was going to say, you bought a house? Yep. And you lost it two months after you bought it? Correct. Wow. Sorry about that. Um, and you're a registered Republican, correct? Uh, a little bit more than that. I'm also the Lake County GOP Central Committee's secretary. Okay. How long have you been a registered Republican? Uh, probably since the days when Ron Paul was running. Okay. Are you endorsed by the Republican Party of Lake County? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, tell us a little about yourself, your educational background, your employment history, that sort of stuff. Well, I'm basically a retired executive chef of uh, 27 years. Um, I, a former musician, played in Seattle, uh, about three different bands up there during the 90s. Um, you know, had a very, uh, very broad perspective up and down the west coast what kind of bands did you play with uh just heavy rock bands you know I was heavy big, metal or heavy rock uh or? heavy more like what they probably would nowadays call grunge but you know we didn't call it that right and you were an executive chef yep what, what does that mean actually uh basically that you are the person who writes the menu orders the food sets the whole kitchen up hires fires cooks everything it's a pretty big job okay why'd you stop doing that um, well, I inherited some money a while back, and I no longer had the need to, ah, if that okay. makes any sense. Okay. Do you have a college degree? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. You have a high school diploma, though? Uh, absolutely, I do. Okay. So I saw something. I, I've, I've read about your, I've read your Facebook pages, and I saw one thing you said that um, I was going to ask you about. You said, and I quote, um, most college graduates are barely qualified to wait tables or even ten bar. A college educate a college education is just leftist indoctrination. Unquote. Can you explain that statement? What you meant by that? Oh, I mean, I mean, I've been taking part in um, some rallies in Berkeley, and we've had some conversations where people were basically they're going to call us troglodytes for simply disagreeing with them, and they're going to use as a weapon in the argument that we don't have their precious and coveted college degrees. I think that kind of that's a little unfair, don't you think? So if we're going to play that card, that's the card I'm playing back. Uh -huh. Does that so, make sense? Well, you really think a college education is just leftist indoctrination? A lot of it, yeah. Nowadays, okay, pretty much it's gone that way. I mean, and it's not just the college part of it. It starts in kindergarten, okay. goes all the way through. Okay. Um, do you have a campaign manager? No, I don't. You have a campaign treasurer? No, I don't. Have you set up your campaign committee with the FPPC, Fair Political Practices? Yes, we committee? have, and I've submitted my Form 700, and that's the whole. I'm basically fu self-funded, and I'm keeping it under $2,000. Okay, well, that's one of my questions I was going to get to. Is that your budget, $2,000? Yeah, $2, I'm going to keep it, keep it at that budget. For the, whole, for the whole campaign through November, if you make, your, if you make it that far? If we make it further than that, me and probably some donors, we could probably talk, set up an account if we get that far. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. So in the primary, you're planning to spend 2000 Pretty much and keep it that and way. It's, it's I mean, all your own money. Yep. Are you going to do mailers to everybody in the... Mailers. I believe the Lake County GOP Central Committee plans on doing a group mailer mm -hmm. for, for at least four to five of us candidates. Okay. Um... Do you have a website? Uh, no, I don't. Do you have a Facebook page for your campaign? Yes, I do. Do you want to tell people how to find that? It is Kevin Ahajanian at, for Lake County's District 5 Supervisor. Okay. Any um, contact information other than that that you want to hand out? Phone number, email, anything? Email is fine. Uh, it's my full name at yahoo.com. Kevin Ahajanian at yahoo.com. Okay. Do you want to spell your name? 
A uh, that would be K E V I N A H A J A N I A N. Okay. Um, how do you feel about the impeachment of Trump? Oh, it's a riot, isn't it? I mean, here we are. Uh, we're not handing it off to the Senate. But what 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 are we doing? We we've invited the president to come to Congress after he's been impeached to give his State of the Union address. So I'll, I have nothing but a golf clap for that. It's it's amusing. It has to be. Okay, so you're a Trump supporter. Uh, probably one of the biggest Trump supporters around, yeah, safe to say. Okay. And you actually donated about $264 to Trump in 2016. About $264 worth of MAGA hats, yep. Okay. Have you donated since 2016? Nope. Okay. Now, most candidates have a ballot designation where they say what they what their uh, occupation is or was and they say they're an incumbent you know they say they're an incumbent how come you don't have a ballot I th didn't they want extra money for that oh I don't know and then I, I did do a uh, there is a there is a ballot um, they didn't give you one from the from the registrar's office what's there, that there's supposed to be a small little paragraph that I personally wrote in the first person. That is supposed to oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that. But what I did see is that you didn't have a ballot designation like um, some people say what they do or some people say. Yeah, I mean, because it's kind of irrelevant. OK, I, so why are you running? Why am I running? I just kind of feel that a lot of people like myself and uh, a lot of the people that are on the mountain that, you know, work for a living every day just aren't being represented. Uh, there's a lot of daydreaming, a lot of Pollyannish attitudes a lot of wishing and 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 kind of a head in the clouds type thinking that doesn't necessarily in the long run work out for everybody else. Case in point, you know, right now we're talking about repealing Proposition 13. How many of the other candidates can promise their constituents that they won't raise their property taxes when that happens? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean... I was over in the Board of Supervisors uh, meeting the other, like about a couple of weeks ago, and I was watching, um, I believe it was Bruno Sabatier, going on and on with the, with the Lake County Health Department about what can be done to limit tobacco use. And I th the suggestions were insane. It, 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 we're getting to the point where we have government in every aspect of our lives, mm -hmm. and we're paying extra for it. Okay, so um, other than the Republican Party, what other endorsements do you have? Who are your major endorsements? It depends on. Let's see. Uh, I've got. I do have an endorsement from my Proud Boys chapter. From who? My Proud Boys chapter. Okay, Proud Boys. Correct. Um, I do have an endorsement from a couple of ham handful of locals, but you're gonna have to get it from them. Oh, I do have one from Marco Gut Gutierrez from Latinos for Trump. Mm -hmm. So. So you're a member of the Proud Boys. Yes, I am. And I actually, I've seen a picture of you with a with a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. um, isn't that like an? Well, first of all, there's no women allowed in the Proud Boys, right? Well, there's no women allowed in the Freemasons. There's no women allowed in um in ECV. Okay. There's no women allowed in the Yacht Fellows. And the Proud Boys is uh, <laughs> one a far far right group, isn't it? Not necessarily. I would say we're pretty much more libertarian if you really do your homework on us. Mm, okay. Um, a lot of people think of the Proud Boys as being different, but that's okay. Um, what do you see as the major issues in the campaign? Um, vegetation management is at the top of my list. Okay. Um, we are not handling our tree situation uh, correctly. We're not handling um, PG&E correctly. PG&E is not handling their end of it correctly. Uh, it's, there's a huge trickle-down list of problems that come from the way it's all being dealt with and if we could just get a little bit of oversight and get get the process flowing in a more positive direction they may not actually have any more excuses to shut down the power next time it gets windy mm. who do you see as your main opponent in this election uh it's all three of them all three of them due to region where they come from what they stand for um, you don't see one as standing out as your main opposition. I know one's been very, very busy for four years working for her position on that, but that doesn't necessarily mean she has has all the support she's you know 
that someone could, could imply because somebody can just come around. What, what I've learned from this is out of nowhere, someone can just go ahead and split your vote instantly. So, mm. Okay. So on your Facebook, um, I think it's on your personal Facebook page, you say, quote, Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo. That was actually a quote from uh, the president himself. President Trump? Correct. Okay. Uh, what does that mean, and, and why do you support that? Well, how much centralization is beneficial for everybody? How does globalism work for Americans? It doesn't. Okay. And, and you know, I mean... It, what does Americanism mean to you? To me? Yeah. We can look into the concept of constitutionalism to start with. Mm -hmm. There's also a concept of nationalism, defending our borders. There's okay. also the, the idea that we could actually probably produce a lot more here at home. As you can see, with, with Trump bringing back jobs to the, to the country, our economy's just done so much better. Mm -hmm. Better than it ever has in years. And the more we do it, the more we actually do here at home, the less we import, mm -hmm. kind of the better off we are. Okay. So I see you don't have your MAGA hat on today, but you're wearing a hat that says, don't tread on me. It looks the, like there's the, a, the Gadsden flag. a rattlesnake yeah. or something it's up there. It's the Gadsden flag. What's that? The Gadsden flag. It's a, it's a patriotic flag. Standard. Uh, okay. Um, I saw online that you were one of the organizers of an event several months ago, I think in June of this year, on the Capitol steps in Sacramento, and it was called a Unity Gathering to Save California. So what was that about, and what do you want to save California from? Well, basically that was the prelude to the next rally we did um, with Raniff and an, uh, some of the same people who were on the speakers list. And that had everything to do with recalling Gavin Newsom. The first step was to get just the, the groups of disgruntled people in California together. That was the purpose of that rally. Mm -hmm. Once we did it, we actually had some direction, and we proceeded with circulating the petition to recall Gavin Newsom. Okay. Well, some people, I read about that gathering, and some people said it was a gathering of far-right activists with neo-Nazi ties. Do you agree with that? Totally disagree. You should have looked at the speaker list for both events. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Actually, the... really funny. I mean, name one speaker out of any of those events who had far-right ties. Name one. Okay. Well, I, I, I didn't look that closely at it. I'm just looking at what people wrote about it. Um, who are your sources, by the way? Um, yeah, this won't work if you ask me questions now, because I'm, I'm asking you questions. You're the one being interviewed. So I noticed on one of your Facebook pages when I looked a couple of weeks ago, you had a photo of Putin. Why, why was it's that? It's a joke. Huh? It's a joke. What's you, the joke? Have you ever heard, heard about you know, trolling online? Yeah. Do you, do you understand how the online cu culture? Again, you're asking me questions, and I'm not going to answer questions. You're here to answer questions. Have well, a good day. You're not going to stay for questions? I'm done. If you can't play both by both sides of the rules, I'm out. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the first time anybody's ever walked out on an interview here. You sure you want to leave, huh? Okay. Well, that was a quick interview.